Now we are going to create the another section which uses the concept of ticker. Let's get into the video. So in the design we have the section for the partners with the title at the top and with a bunch of logos at the bottom. Let's make this logo as a ticker that is more or like a marker. Let's get into the framer. I'm creating a frame which is under the future section and I'm naming it as partner section. Let's make it as tag. Inside this partner section, let's create a container that is fill. Let's check the width that is 1200. So let's make it as max width 2200. Inside this, we need a title. So I'm copying and I'm pasting the title. The direction is in horizontal. So let's make it to vertical. So for the title, I need to change the content. So I'm copying it from here and I'm pasting it here. And I'm choosing the text style. Now we need to add the logo. For that, I need to add the frame in order to hold all the logos. So again, I'm adding a frame under it. Let's see its height. That is around 30. So let's make it as 40 itself. So now inside this logo wrap, we are going to add the ticker component. So for that, I'm going to the insert and I'm searching for ticker and click and drag it inside this logo graph. So the ticker will be created. Let's make the width to fill and height to fill. So the properties of the tickers can be viewed here. We need to add the content inside this ticker. We can add the contents of the ticker only outside of this desktop breakpoint. So I'm adding a frame which is outside. Let me check the height and width of this logo. 130 and 30 and I'm giving the name and let's add the image by choosing choose image let's change the each logos So now we have added the all the logos which is necessary. Let's go to the ticker. And before that, I'm going to the logo wrap and erasing this color. Now inside the sticker, I'm going to the component. Under the children, I'm going to add the logos by choosing one, two, three, four, five, six. So the six logos is added. And even we can able to give the speed option. For now, I'm giving the speed to 90%. And even we can set the direction to left, right, up and down. For now, I'm choosing the direction to right. And even we can make the alignment. And let's give the gap to 80. And even we can provide the padding values. And for the sizing, we can give the auto with an auto height even it can be stretch or stretch so it will be like this so for instance i'm giving it as auto itself and coming to the clipping i don't need the fading effect so i'm giving no so while on hovering the ticker even we can make the speed to slows down or to increase the speed so for now i'm making the speed to 0.7 so we have made the necessary adjustment and we need to create the gap between these two And coming to this partner section, let's make the width to fill and height to fit content. And we need to add the padding value. So let's give the padding at the top to 100 and for the bottom to 100. So we have made the partner section. Let's preview it. So it's working fine. So on hovering, the speeds get reduced. So this is the process of creating a partner section that uses the ticker component. You can always walk through by checking out my other videos in the Framer Beginner Tutorial playlist. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you in the next section. I have uncovered detailed insight in my upcoming Beginner Framer friendly course. For additional information, check the link in the description below.